Greetings, I'm Alan Ross and welcome once again to one of my little mini tutorials. Uh, today I'd like to talk about using overlay layers in Photoshop. Overlay layers are really wonderful in, from the standpoint that a lot of times we want to make some tonal adjustments to our image, but we don't want to risk or, or uh, deal with the actual image itself. We can, uh, we can lighten areas, darken areas, we can change the, the tone, the color of certain of parts of the image if we want, all with an overlay layer. And the beauty of that is that we're not doing anything to our actual image. So I'm gonna start off real easy here. I'm gonna go up to my layer menu. I'm gonna click new, layer, and then I'm gonna call this uh, Skyburn. I think in this image here, um, this is of Loch Duich viewpoint in uh, the Scottish Highlands last year in 2019 during a little photo workshop. It's not far from Eileen Donon Castle, very famous place and gorgeous country. So I'm gonna call this Skyburn. Then I'm gonna come down in the mode, I'm gonna drag down and I'm gonna call it overlay. And when I do that, it gives me the option to fill with overlay, the overlay with a neutral color 50% gray. And I'm gonna do that. So I'll click that, click okay. And now over here to the right, you see this new layer here, Skyburn. And it hasn't done anything to the image because I haven't done anything to the overlay layer. So what I think I'd like to do with this is darken the sky. The foreground really looks pretty nice, but I'd like to get some mood in here. And so I'm gonna try darkening the sky. So what I'm gonna do is I've got my background uh, as white and my foreground is black. I'm gonna use my gradient tool. And what we have up here are a couple of different settings. We have a linear setting here, we have a circular setting, we have a couple of others, but I don't really use these much. But so I have the linear setting clicked here. And now we have other options here. We have in this choice, we have foreground to background, a gradient. This one we have foreground to clear, and this one is black to white. And uh, in this case, I want to do uh, foreground to clear because I want to darken the sky but not have it do anything to the uh, to the lower part. So I'm going to click OK here and I'm going to take my cursor and come over here to the top of the image and I'm going to drag down to somewhere around the horizon and click that and wow, look what that did. And if you look over here onto the layers uh, window, you'll see that this little gray area here, this box that was all gray is now dark. And the beauty of this is, one of the things is, I can change the opacity of it if I want. I can make it just not as dark as it, as it is fully, or I can bring it back up. I can, if I, if I want to, I could actually duplicate it and du double the effect. Now this is overkill, but I just wanted to show you what the options were of even just doubling that. I'm gonna throw this away. But now other options, let's say I wanna darken this a little bit more down here in the bottom, or let's uh, add a little bit more density. I can come over here, you can still paint on top of these things. So we have a gradient going from very dark to, to clear down here on our um, overlay layer. And we can use, to lighten and darken areas, the easiest thing is to use the traditional dodging and burning tools. Um, but one, thing about this as opposed to working on your actual image when you're using a dodging and burning tool on an actual image uh, you can dodge or burn the highlights or midtones or shadows but on an overlay you're lightening or darkening everything so with this in mind I'm going to try maybe darkening a little bit more in this area here I'm going to take the burn tool and I'm gonna set it up to maybe 15% opacity just to see what we can see. Usually that's way more than I want to do. I'll make the image a little bit bigger, the, the tool a little bit bigger here. And let's see what happens if I come in here. Now I am, see I'm dark, I think I can see that I'm darkening a little bit down in here. Maybe darken this water, yeah, I could see that darken. Uh, let's say maybe I want to, uh, lighten a little bit in the foreground here. I can come over to my dodge tool and I've got that, I'll set this for 5%. And let's say I'm gonna lighten this foreground here a little bit. 
And if I want to see what I've done, I can come over to my history uh, window here and let's take out that dodge tool. You can see it's a little subtle, but you can see that I have lightened that bit of, of foreground there. And if I come up here to um, my burn tool, you can see that I have indeed darkened those areas there. So it's really kind of nice. It's so easy. And if I come back to my main layers window, if I turn that off, this is the image we started with. So all of these wonderful little adjustments are done with an overlay layer. Hope this helps and have a good time.